Hey there, everybody. John Henry. Welcome aboard. If you were catching this on the uh, on the uh, the stories or reels, make sure you click on it. Head over to the full length video. We are going to look at a pretty major fraud that's going on on Facebook right now. I've I've uh, narrowed down a circle of uh, grifters uh, that are playing on uh, certain ideas and concepts, and I'm going to break those down to you, show you all the evidence. Uh, but uh, if you happen to be catching this in a 30 second reel or whatever, head over to the full length video, check it out, and uh, you will not regret it. So, uh, I've uh, mentioned a few times uh, over the last few weeks, uh, I've been noticing this, this major scam surrounding Native American uh, culture and, and uh, information on Facebook. Uh, I ran into this first uh, a few weeks ago and, and uh, a couple of things just kind of caught my eye as being a little weird. Uh, and I started looking into it more closely and uh, yeah, it's, it's really weird. Uh, and so what I'm gonna do, let me go ahead and kind of get things around here and uh, we can show you exactly what we're talking about. Let me see, and we'll go like that. Okay, and there we are. So you can see you've got this page here. Uh, this one is Native American United. Uh, and uh, you look here, it's a welcome powwow native, which which immediately, as somebody who is half Native American, yeah, I'm not sure I've ever heard an actual Native American use the word powwow, okay? Um, but it, it, whatever, right? I mean, people are people, whatever, you give people a break. And you can see you've got this, uh, you know, biographies of these Native American uh, actresses uh, in this case, and, and always it's a photograph of somebody real attractive or in some sort of position of power or something like that, uh, usually famous, um, and and a copied uh, you know copied bio, right? And so I started kind of looking, and this page, for instance, uh, you can see it says it's in Houston, Texas, but the phone number is in Dearborn, Michigan, uh, which you may note is not really close to Houston, Texas, uh, and and that was kind of what sparked my interest a little bit, and I started going, oh, wait a minute, this this doesn't sound right. Uh, and, and so, and I've posted, by the way, I, they're not even paying attention to the content or the comments on their, their pages because I've posted a couple of times, like, I think this is crap. I think this is a scam. And they just, they don't even notice it. They don't even delete the comments. They just keep on going because it's all automated. It's all bots, right? Uh, so you go into the about section over here. And this is important because you want to know how to do this, okay? Uh, you go to the About section of the page and uh, you look over under where it says Page Transparency and then you see, oh, this page uh, page uh, manager location, sorry, I'm trying to duck around and read around my camera, uh, include United States, Philippines, and one other. And then when you pop it up, you see the other is Vietnam. Uh, now, I'm not sure uh, where the, the, the page managers that are in the United States are coming from. I don't know if it's just somebody scammed their way past Facebook's identity systems or if somebody's getting paid off to, to represent themselves as, as being part of this page so that they can gain authenticity. Uh, but what you end up finding out, if you go back over here and we'll break some things down and start looking at some of these other pages, here you have Native American lovers. Uh, very similar information, except this one claims to be in Newark, Ohio, uh, rather than in uh, Houston, Texas, and you'll notice the same URL. And that website, by the way, AuthenticNativeShop.com, doesn't exist. That phone number I called about 10 minutes ago, disconnected. There's nothing there. Uh, it doesn't even ring. Uh, so it's probably never been assigned and, and may not even be a legitimate exchange in the 586 area code. Uh, when you start to look, right, you can see this, uh, there are, you know, four following, this This page is following four pages, uh, and this is another one of those pages, uh, Native American Lovers, and it's following, you see the same collection of pages This on every one of them, right? You've got this uh, Native North American and Native American Warriors and Tribal Family and Pride and so on and so on, and then you got this. A uh, guy who is in Vietnam and has a million and three hundred thousand some odd people following him. Um, this is a scam. Native North American Indian old photos. It's all stolen content. Uh, there, there's nothing original here. There's nothing. There's no information here, and there is no legitimate connection that I can find to any uh, legitimate Native American uh, group or tribe or organization or or anything else. 
Um, and you can see, again, here you have right this this particular page claims to be in Los Angeles, California, but then it accidentally slips in. Uh, right, this is this is not this is not. Uh, a place in Los Angeles, California, right? Now, this website actually does exist, welcomepowwownative.com, and it's a storefront, right? Selling the typical array of, you know, t-shirts with pictures of Geronimo on it and all this other stuff. Um, again, nothing to do with, nothing to do, right? Uh, with Native Americans. This is, this is the page that is behind all this. Uh, or appears to be at least um, some guy in in uh, Vietnam. Uh, I don't even know what this is, and and don't particularly care. Um, been on the network since December of two thousand five, followed by one point one million people. Uh, this is not. This is this is a scam. This guy is running a giant bot operated scam. These probably pages are probably you know created automatically or semi-automatically all the content on them is probably posted automatically uh and and all it is is playing to uh the uh, you know the romanticization of of native americans and uh people who feel an affinity for those cultures um and the the entire point uh, is to extract money from the tribes from Native Americans from the community and ship it overseas, right? There's no there's no cash here that's going to the Native Americans. There's no no Native American tribe or program that's benefiting from this. This is all going in some guy's pocket in Vietnam, and it's over and over and over. Here you have thirty five thousand followers on Native American lovers, right? You've got Native American DNA with 17,000 followers over here. And you've got, uh, what's this other, uh, 34,000 on Native American warriors and 475,000, 485,000 followers on the old photos page. And uh, this person is selling those numbers. Right, and thirty-five thousand over here again. Uh, that's uh, one of the same ones. Native Americans United, twenty-one thousand following. This is absolute bullshit. This this person, whoever is behind this, whether it's a person or an organization or a government, I don't know, and I don't care. What I am telling you is, it has nothing to do with Native Americans. And the reason that I'm going into this and and bringing it up and having this this conversation about it with you is because this is just the obvious. Right. Obviously, when you look at a page that says Native American and their page managers are in the Philippines and Vietnam, you, you start to wonder what's going on. You start to ask some questions. Make sure my mic is on there. Uh, and, and I did. And, and then I started looking. There's nothing about any of these pages that are in any way related to benefiting or, or, or offering any sort of community support, uh, solidarity or anything else with Native Americans or Native American culture. This is a giant scam. And there are uh, at least 100,000 people or so that are following it, 475,000 people on that one page. And I'm sure they're making money hand over fist, by the way. I'm sure people are just going to that powwow shop all day long and buying t-shirts and blankets and fake Native American jewelry and fake this and fake Native that and fake Native the other thing. And it's all garbage. It's probably all manufactured somewhere in a plant in Vietnam. Why am I talking about this? Why does it matter? Because, like I said, this is just the obvious, right? This is, obviously, if you've got a page that says it's about Native Americans and it's in Vietnam and the Philippines, you start wondering what the hell is going on. It's not so obvious when it's Black Lives Matter. It's not so obvious when it's, you know, Jews for Jesus or whatever. Pick an identity group, okay? It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Latinos and whatever right? And there are thousands, tens of thousands probably of these pages on Facebook. And that's all they do. They have absolutely, it's, by the way, this is the same scam that I've talked about for years with the political pages, these leftist pages, the grifters and the clickbaiters, right? This is the same scam. It's the same scam. They have absolutely no affinity whatsoever for the subject matter that they're selling. What they want is your attention and your money. And they draw energy and they draw funds out of those communities, right? The the, the Occupy Democrats crap, they're drawing a, a million and a half or a million and a quarter a year or whatever it is. And that is money that should be going to people like me who are actual left-wing progressive activists. 
And it's not. It's coming out of your pocket. They're conning you into buying their stuff and making contributions to their causes. And then when it comes around to my poor ass going, hey, I got to eat. It's like, well, sorry, I don't have any money. I spent it all at Occupy Democrats and Pow Wow Natives. And, and because of the scam, because of the setup, you are induced to believe that having done so, you have done a good thing. Well, I'm sorry, I can't help this person because I already helped that person. But you're not actually helping anyone. All you're doing is offshoring dollars, extracting wealth from these targeted communities and leaving them weaker while also ensuring and assisting in the suppression of legitimate voices advocating for those communities. And that is true across the board. I don't care if it's abortion rights, Black Lives Matter, Occupy, Native Americans, does not matter. Any subject you can think of, any subject you can think of, trans community, whatever, right, is full of garbage like this, full of people who have absolutely no legitimate connection whatsoever to the communities and the subjects that they are shilling and grifting on, extracting wealth, taking money away from those communities, and leaving usually most, if not all, of the legitimate and, and, and honest activists or actors or advocates of integrity out in the dark, right? And I'm not going to go into the poor me thing. Y'all know who have been around here. You know what my financial situation is. Well, this is part of the reason why that's the case, because things like this exist, right? Now, in, in this particular situation, these native pages don't have anything to do with me personally because I don't play on that in my work. But there are plenty of legitimate native pages out there that are suffering and losing because of this, just like there are plenty of legitimate leftist and progressive pages out there that are suffering and losing because of outfits like the other 98 and Occupy Democrats. And it's the same scam. It's the same scam. Some of the names will change, maybe right, like the, the Occupy Democrats, the Riveros are really in Florida, they're really American, they're just not Democrats, they're not progressives, they're not leftists. They're center-right, corporate, whatever, butt-kissers trying to buy their way into power in the Democratic Party by lying to you. This is the same thing. These people are just trying to extract wealth from these communities. They don't care that they are crushing these communities. They don't care that these native communities who are trying to out, be out here and legitimately trade on their heritage and, and their, their creations are left in the dust because they don't have the resources to build a server farm in Vietnam and staff it with a bunch of underpaid lackeys who have nothing to do but sit around on Facebook all day providing artificial social proof to con other people into believing they're legitimate. That is why it matters. I need you to understand this is 2023 and the day where you could just trust anything out of hand is gone. It is over. You have to have your eyes wide open. You have to force yourself to open your eyes wide and take a close look at what's going on. So let me go back here real quick. I don't want to be here all day. Where am I at right now? 1550. So we'll give this another uh, five, 10 minutes. But uh, I want to show you here, like I said, you can figure this stuff out for yourself fairly easily. You take a look at the page information that's on the front page. Oh, wait a minute. Houston, Texas, 586 area code. That doesn't make any sense, huh? Maybe I should look a little more closely. And then you head over here to the About tab, right? And you see this stuff over here and blah, blah, blah. Now, I actually went through, uh, there were a couple of these that had street addresses on them and I pulled them up. They're empty lots out in the middle of nowhere, right? They, 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 there's nothing there. The addresses themselves don't exist. Uh, like I said, I called this phone number. There's, It's not connected to anything. It's so not connected to anything, it doesn't even give you an error message. It just drops right uh same thing again with uh with uh this uh this url this website authentic native authentic native shop.com doesn't exist it doesn't exist okay uh and so you go to this uh beyond the contact and basic info you go to the page transparency uh, tab and that's where it starts to get a little bit unavoidable right because why in the world why in the world would a page about native americans have their managers 6,000 miles away from the American continents, 
that makes no sense, right? At the very least, you're dealing with somebody who's got a pretty poor discernment mechanism going on, and they have clearly hired overseas clickbaiters in boiler rooms to pump up their uh, their their uh, scheme. And if they were legitimate and legitimately believed in what they were doing, they wouldn't be doing that, right? You don't have to stoop to bullshit and, and games and manipulation when you're genuine. So, uh, and this, I want to just peek through a couple of these while I've got you on the horse. So right here you go again, this Ballantine Drive, Newark, Ohio, doesn't exist. Uh, and you go over here to about, and oh, here it is again. Uh, yeah, nothing there, but uh, let's look at the page transparency and see what it says. Right, see, see that address? There's nothing there. And then you go over here, page manager include United States, Philippines, and one other, Vietnam. So that's, which one was that? Native American lovers. This is also Native American lovers. Here's Native North American Indian, right? Again, uh, now this one says, oh, it's not a business. Well, okay. What does that mean? I don't know. But page transparency. Oh, pages managed. Oh, see, now this one only has the United States, which I think is really, really interesting because, like I said, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, I can only speculate because my my vision is is uh, somewhat limited in in terms of what I can see. Um, no, geez, I didn't even have that on the screen. I'm sorry. I'll bring it back over and show you to you in a minute. Um, but uh, again. I don't know if they're paying somebody here in the U.S. to front for them or if they are, are you know, somehow gaming Facebook's identity verification system. Um, but this is this is this is ridiculous. And of course, uh, you can see you've got the, you know, the the bullshit reviews right oh let's let's have our let's have our hired guns come in here and post a bunch of fake reviews oh the confidence and trust is what i have craved for it and expert traders i'm so happy balls that's not a real human being that's not a human being at all i guarantee you that's not a legitimate person it might be somebody who's fronting it might be the person who's fronting this location in the united states for this grifter that's in vietnam but that's not legitimate. 475,000 likes. 475,000 people are following this page. 470, half a million people are following this page in the belief that this is some sort of representation of genuine Native American culture, Native North American culture, and that they are somehow participating in community and solidarity with Native Americans and Native American culture. Many of the people who are following this page may themselves be Native Americans, and they believe that they are tied into and working with and working among their own community, and they're not. They're not. I guarantee you this page has no more to do with Native Americans than I have to do with the Chinese. Right? Here we go again. Native American warriors will add that extra power trick to, to get you interesting. And like I said, this is the one that's got that welcome powwow native.com. That's your, that's your fake uh, store that actually does exist. I Googled it. Uh, I'm not going to visit the site, but I Googled it. And again, you go over, it's got the fake Los Angeles address. And then you look over here and it's got basic info. You look at the page transparency and let's see that uh, page manager. So some of these, they aren't even not in, right? Some of them are in the, uh, the U.S. Uh, and, and like I said, I don't know how that happens. I don't know who's responsible for it. I would like to know because those individuals, assuming that it is that situation and they, they just haven't faked their way through Facebook's ID verification system, which is not an easy thing to do because I, I have been trying to get validated myself for months and they keep coming back with these nonsense little nitpicking errors like, oh, well, your driver's license says you're in apartment one, but this other thing says you're in two and what? Right. I mean, it's not an easy thing to get through this system when you're legitimate, uh, let alone when you're trying to, to BS it. But obviously, uh, this person has the resources um, to engage in that. Again, I want to remind you, uh, you know, a, a few years back, there was a big kerfluffle. Uh, about exactly this kind of thing where you had a white guy in Australia raised $100,000 by pretending to be a Black Lives Matter activist in the United States. 
That's $100,000 that Black Lives Matter activists in the United States didn't get. Everything that gets sold by this Welcome Powwow Native website is money that is not going to Native American communities. Not only is it not going to Native American communities, but chances are extraordinarily high to the point of near certainty that the merchandise that is being purchased also has absolutely nothing to do with any Native American community, tribe, organization, government, or company. It's, it's cheap t-shirts. Anybody can steal a picture of Geronimo off of Wikipedia and go to Spreadshirt.com and make a little design and then put it up by a domain name that says something native on it and then all uh, just make money hand over fist. This is what's killing people like me who are out here trying to be legit, trying to have integrity, trying to, to, to do business the right way, honestly and honorably, we get crushed by this. And one of the reasons we get crushed by this is because people keep falling for it. And I love you all. I don't want to sit here telling you you're stupid. That's not why I'm here. It's not that you're stupid. It's that you have a good heart and you are not expecting there to be such evil, mendacious, manipulative, lying pieces of crap in the world who are intentionally out there doing everything they can to take advantage of your good heart and separate you from your funds and from your community and break your communities and make sure they don't have any benefit, they don't have any traffic, they don't have any visibility because it's all being stealing, uh, stolen by an organized and well-oiled machine whose purpose is exactly to do that. Okay? This is the point of what I'm saying to you and what I'm trying to, to tell you here. It's not in any way whatsoever uh, a reflection on, on you if you happen to be one of those 475 or whatever thousand people that are on that one page or if you're following these other pages and liking them. There's nothing wrong with you know appreciating Native American culture. The problem is, is that you are being ripped off and you are being enlisted without your permission and knowledge as a foot soldier in an ongoing industrial strength scam whose entire purpose is to steal from Native American culture and extract wealth from Native American culture and stand in the way of Native Americans who are trying to just be out there making a living. Again, same parallels with Occupy Democrats. I've seen, you know, trans pages that are the same way. I've seen LGBT pages, you know, uh, uh, I was trying to separate the, the LG from the T, uh, but, but uh, you know, lesbian, gay, trans, bi pages, right? The, any page, and I'm sorry, by the way, I, I follow plenty of pages that are openly labeled with, with identities, right? With, you know, tra this trans community or, or native community or whatever. I am very, very sorry that this is going to cause some distrust towards you and make people look at you a little bit more closely. The good news is those of you who are legit you got nothing to worry about because when people look at you closely, they're going to see that you're legit, right? You can look at my page. My, my information is up there. I'm not a secret. I, I've gone out more than once to prove that I'm actually in the United States. I've shot live video going, here I am in Kalamazoo, Michigan. I've shown corners in the whole nine yards, right? And, and other people can do the same if they don't, you don't even have to go that far, right? I'm an argumentative bastard. I will go out and shove it in somebody's face when they try to tell me that I'm not legit. You don't have to do that, though. It doesn't take that much. But what it does take on your part as a consumer is paying attention and paying close attention attention to what these pages look like and how they act, right? When you start seeing things like, uh, hang on a minute, let me pull up the right one so I can show right? This Houston, Texas, no address. That, like I said, this the, there was another address that I looked up and, and uh, it didn't exist, right? Take the time and do the research a little bit. Take the time and do the research a little bit. Uh, because when you do that, you start seeing that it doesn't hold up, right? Here's, again, this is, you know, an address in Newark, Ohio. Boy, isn't it strange that it just shows up as a big blue square on the map? That's because it doesn't exist. That address is not there, right? You call the phone number. There's nobody there. The phone number doesn't exist. What they do is they put that phone number up on the page and 
they know that you're going to look at that. Oh, well, it's got a legit phone number. It must be. It must be legit. It's got a street address in Houston. It must be legit. Somebody must have verified that. No, they didn't. Obviously, they didn't. Obviously, these page managers in the United States are not using the same addresses that they use to verify their identity because those addresses don't exist. What they're showing publicly, those places aren't there, right? Uh, and again, it's, it's you know, this one's been around since uh, 2021. And sometimes you can get hints, but you can't rely on just, you know, easy mode, quick looking. Uh, go, oh, well, this page has only been around for two years. It must be fake. That's not valid. You have to look closely and consider everything that you're seeing. Uh, in this case, this particular page, right, Native American Warriors, when you go look, they've got the, uh, which one clued me off about that? Oh, this is the Los Angeles, right, with the, the hockey, right? That's Vietnamese. <laughs> That's not, that isn't, doesn't exist in Los Angeles, as you can see by the map of it. Uh, and again, this phone number, you can Google it, you can call it. There's nothing there. If there ever was anything there, it didn't belong to anybody that was associated with any of this. But the store works at the website, guaranteed. Now, whether you'll actually get anything from them or not is an open question if you go there and buy something. And they're in Vietnam, so if they screw you, good luck doing anything about it. This is, this is why so so important you know the big crusade the big underpinning sort of theme of almost everything i do is information and media literacy in light of uh the the rise of the internet and and the oncoming uh, you know the onset of the 21st century uh and the technology and tools that we have here because these these tools and this technology is wonderful uh and powerful and it, it creates a lot of great things for a lot of people but it's also uh a key to stealing from you and to running, you know, cons on you and to lying to you and to misleading you. Um, now, normally, you know, a lot of the work that I do is like politically related stuff. And, and if this was that sort of thing, I would expect that at some point after amassing a very large audience, these pages would shift over into starting to push whatever propaganda it is uh, that, that is really behind it. But in this case, with the, this particular group of Native American pages, it's just about money. It's just a moment. It's just some greedy asshole over in Vietnam who's ripping people off, lying through their teeth, pretending to be Native American, and they're not. And this is the same thing. The same thing, again, like I said, it's the political, the medical stuff, right? Joe Mercola and his whole natural news thing. Same scam. Same scam. Right, just run a few words together that kind of look legitimate and can appeal to people who aren't paying real close attention. Rake in the bucks. Just rake it in, hand over fist. 425,000 people following that page. I guarantee you that dude's pulling a couple of million a year at least. And that's a couple million a year that is not going into Native American communities where the people who are spending it think it's going. That's the point. You are being played and you're being manipulated into working for the bad guy. Pay attention to what's going on. Pay attention to what you see out there. Don't take anything for granted, right? Including me. Like I said, anybody who's legit should welcome scrutiny, right? And I don't mean the fake scrutiny bullshit. Like, well, you said you went to graduate in high school in 1988 in August, but it was really in September. So you must be a... No, that's, that's crap. That's somebody else that's playing another layer of the onion of bullshit, right? But but thinking people, the sort of people that read my page, haha, uh, you don't have the discernment and you have the logic, you have the reasoning to apply this information and use it effectively. You're just not warned, right? You, you don't know this is happening and it doesn't cross your mind to think that it might be most of the time because most of y'all are not spending your lives looking over your shoulder and being paranoid about everything, nor should you. But as consumers of information, as people who are trying to support communities, as people who are trying to show solidarity, you absolutely have to do your homework. That's it for me. Thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget, you can support everything I do. My website, johnhenry.us slash support. I've got the paypal.me slash johnhenryus. I've got the patreon.com slash johnhenry. You see some of those addresses on the screen. I think I've got a little graphic here I can pull up and 
and uh, let me get over blah 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 we'll give you those addresses on screen a little bit here uh, let me I I took off a lot of my graphics and stuff that are on here uh, because I uh, one of my one of my uh, regular long time uh, readers slash viewers uh, had uh, had mentioned that it's a little too much flashing and a little too kind of distractive and that actually made me kind of concerned that I might be uh, you know, risking some bad reactions from people who have epilepsy and things like that. So I'm in the middle of redoing the pretty little, uh, the pretty little, uh, uh, you know, window of stuff over here. Uh, but for right now, uh, I'm just down to there. So let me, is this it? There we go. There we go. Maybe. Uh, let's see. Yep, there we go. Okay, so uh, yeah, those are the addresses. Uh, if you want to help out, the, the cash tag there works on Cash App and Cash.me and Chime, uh, which are three separate systems, but they, it's the same cash tag that I've got for all of them. Uh, if you can help out, please uh, do. You know, I, I have not made it a secret that, that I am in, in uh, dire straits and am going to be in dire straits until I have s several thousands of dollars underneath me to be able to get up and out of where I'm at and get transportation, upgrade the computer so I stop looking like I'm running through a 386SX on these videos and so on and so forth. Uh, but in the meantime, that is our show, kids. Uh, I just wanted to share that with you. I've been looking at it for a long time, and it's really been bothering me. Uh, and and uh, I, I want you to be protected. I, I want you to be able to go out with confidence and and when you're trying to help and and do good things and be you know a good community member and and show solidarity or, or you know be part of your own community uh I, I want you to be able to do that you know safely and with confidence that that the way uh the way things are happening is legitimate and and right and that your money is actually going to the communities you're trying to help and that your energy is actually going to the communities that you're trying to put it towards rather than some asshole in vietnam that's trying to rip you off by throwing Native American around. Uh, so, and like I said, it's not just a Native American thing. Any identity call out, any identity call out, you have to take a close look. Capitalism, communism, socialist, leftist, any of it, you have to take a close look. Watch their behavior, see what they do, see what they have to say. Does their behavior reconcile with the values they claim to have? Does this information make sense? Does this phone number work? Does this website exist? Right? You got to do a little bit of the homework. And, uh, you know, I mean, it kind of goes back to the same thing I've been saying about that whole vote blue no matter who thing. That's a bullshit trick. You don't do that, right? Oh, I'm just going to vote for this guy because he's a Democrat. Yeah, well, JFK Jr. is running as a Democrat right now. David Duke ran as a Democrat. We just had some other clown, I can't even remember his name right now, get, uh, you know, arrested for, for fraud and so on and so forth. And he's a Democrat. He's a vote blue no matter who. And plenty of people, I'm sure, voted for these people because they were blue and they didn't do their homework and they didn't look past the label and they got scammed. That's what I'm trying to protect you from. That's what I'm trying to teach you to protect yourself from. So hopefully this has uh, accomplished that a little bit today. Uh, thank you very much again. If you can help me out, please do because I definitely need it. I will see you soon. Goodbye.